So, here on the channel we did a video a little while ago from a company called Yabba, and this was regarding their V10 projector, which turned out incredible. Still the projector I'm using to this day in the room, obviously, which we use on the main screen. Um, and I'm still yet to have zero issues with it. It's still an absolutely phenomenal projector. Everything from the picture quality to a movability, I've now got it fitted onto the wall, which is a little bit easier to control. But I received an email from them the other day saying that they've released a brand new version of the V of the V9, of the Y of the Y9. So that's what we're looking at today. So as we said in the intro, we are now taking a look at the Yabba Entertainment Projector. This is the Pro 9 1080p projector, and this is one Yabba, one cinema. This one I'm looking forward to. The previous one we did was a little bit larger than this one, but I have to admit it is incredible, still is incredible. But I'm definitely looking forward to this one. So let's just get into it. They're pretty open it properly. Looks like it's in a nice canvas bag. Oh wow, look at that. When was the last time you ever saw that? No way. No freaking way. They've put it in a backpack. A projector in a backpack. Now that is freaking sweet. So even if you don't want to carry this, I don't know, like say if you're moving house or something, you just stick this on your back and you're good to go. All right, let's get this open and see what we've got. So, first of all, I don't know what that is. Just gonna get everything out and then we'll work it out as we go along. Get the projector out itself. We've got some documentation, got the remote. A nice chunky user manual. And that's pretty much all we get in the bag. So they've actually organized the bag pretty nice. We've got the little space there, as well as in here for the user manual. And then you've got your projector as well as your cables. So I'm gonna get this all sorted and I'll be back in a second. So, first of all, what we're going to do is start off with a little thing. So, we do have a little basic remote here. On off switch, we've got mute, settings, modes, systems. We've got basic directional pad, OK, as well as some back buttons and home buttons. So, pretty generic remote. Takes AA batteries, little pencil one, so that's not an issue. We also get a power cable here. So, this is a double pin power uh, cable. This is the sort of stuff you'll see on like consoles and uh, smaller appliances, which is pretty cool. So, if you've got like, say, a long way for this to go you obviously that's definitely something you would have to invest in we do have our i believe this is audio cable to your three pin audios depending on what type of system you're using uh, you do have your technical uh, yellow red and white cable to 3.5 mil jack which is quite handy and as always they do supply you with dual uh, hdmi cable which is also good to see now they did put this in the bag this is like a, a silver silver gray cloth i'm not 100 sure if this is meant to be a projector sheet uh i don't know about that so that's something i'm gonna have to leave for now because i'm not 100 sure but we do get quite a large uh, entertainment manual here we do get a little card here from them so this is pretty much telling us about our 20 month 24 month warranty so you are covered for up to two years which is quite cool uh we do have some cleaning instructions tells you what to do and what not to do as well as a microfiber cloth which is sealed as well as some little q-tips and as well as a little screwdriver here and we'll go into them a little bit more later on but it's nice that they've added that in and then we have our extremely nice white projector how oh, that looks incredible already so first of all off what we've got here is our basic on off switch we've got a directional pad and i think believe this is touch because it doesn't click in so this is more of a touch panel as well as like a menu option, back button, as well as uh, either settings or menu mode. Now, if we go over to here just for a second, we do have two different options for the lens. We do have a zoom in and out, as well as I believe this is a tilt gauge. Don't quote me on that. When we go to actually loading this up, we'll go into that a little bit more. But that's what I believe I think it is. We do have some large cooling fins going on here just to allow this to keep cool if you're using it for a progress longer time. As well as on the other, time, other side, we do have our filter grill, which can just be removed. So our filter grill can just be removed like that. As we can see, we've just got a little polished filter going on there. So this can just be blown out. Obviously, just be careful. It does give you a little disclaimer on the side, which is a reminder, disabling and clean the dustproof net every two to three months for better use experience. Obviously, the more you clean it, uh, the less your fans are going to be working, the hotter, the, le the less hotter it's going to get, etc. 
Now on the back here, we do have our power supply. We do have our infrared sensor. Uh, we do have our headphone jack as well as uh, the AV jack for the, I believe for the audio signal. We have two HDMI and also two USB, which is quite cool. And don't quote me, but I believe this might be the speaker, which is sat to the rear, so you don't have to worry about it being projection. Now, we do have a little screw port in the center here. This is going to be for cleaning purposes, obviously using the Q-tips and the screwdriver that comes applied, which is quite cool. Now, just before getting to everything else, I just want to go through some of the mounting methods with this. Now, this is pretty cool because with the previous one, I used a... Uh, x-shaped mount hardware which goes on the side but when i first looked at this i thought oh, i'm not going to be able to use it these little poppers on the side if i just grab a knife unbox a knife which i still have to this day if i just pop one of these off so you can mount this with the x-shaped mounts don't worry i'll put uh, in the links in the description i'll pop uh, a link for one of their mounts if you do end up grabbing one of these or some of the other ones i'll stick a mount i'll stick a, a link kit from amazon in there as well just so you know where to grab one so because that's what i did and i gotta admit it's the best thing i ever did going from mounting this on a tripod or even a stand to mounting it above the, the above the bed and onto the ceiling which was so so easy so on the side here we do also have a screw thread as well so if i just remove this so this can be used for many reasons so if we have a look at that as we can see if you've got this sat like that like that so if we can see it on a how can I put it? How can I put it? So, see if you've got this on a flat surface and it's not where you want, you can use this to screw in and out to try and get the projector the, to the right level to actually know where it's actually supposed to be on the screen. Maybe it's a couple centimeters out. You can use this, quite a large screw. You can use this to actually level the projector, um, which is nice to see. So you don't have to worry about that either. So see if you've got this sat on a flat surface and you just want it raised up a bit, you can do that. Now this is the bit I really did like. So this is the design they went for. They've got all white design, infrared sensor. They've got the Yabba Yoga, which is really cool. But on the side, on the bottom here, they've put fabric. Now alone, that looks incredible. That small amount of fabric really has changed this from just a projector to a, a really nice looking one. So if this is going to be in a bedroom or a living room and say if you've got an old gray effect, this is going to fit in absolutely spot on. So little cap here, dust cap, uh, protection cap for the lens itself, which is right there. And like I said before, the top wheel does allow this to screw in and out, which is quite a large distance. So you're not going to have to worry too much about where this is going to be or going to go. That does go in quite far there, which is quite cool. I can't really show you from here, but the other one does uh, apply for pan and tilt. So that's one thing that we need to think about. But I have to admit, already this is absolutely incredible. So without wasting any more of your time, what we need to do is actually go get this set up next door. And we'll get back to you in just a second. So as you can see, I've got the Yabba projector actually set up, and yes, it does. Is it is yes, it is upside down because of the way I have it mounted, but that's not an issue. You can change in the settings. So as you can see, this is what it roughly looks like, and I've got it projecting to this screen over here, which is about 150 inches from corner to corner. So this is what it's allowing me to use it. Now, if we go to the back, you can see where I've got my power leads and my USB plugged in, which is then hidden behind the wall down the side, which is really helpful. So let's go into the next part. So here we have it, we've got it all set up, you can see the projector and this is roughly what you get on the main screen. You've got video, music, picture office, and then you've got signal source and iOS and Miracast. Now iOS cast is using for projecting your phone or your iPad or your Apple device onto the projector, as in Miracast is more used for Android devices as well. So you also have that availability. Then we also have office, picture, music, video, whether you've got a USB drive or a thumb drive plugged in, you can also use that as well as, which is quite handy. Now in the top right hand corner we do have the settings, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and USB logos. So that will indicate whether you're using a Bluetooth device or Wi-Fi device. So let's just pop into the settings and see what we've got. So we do have Wi-Fi sensors off so you can connect this via Wi-Fi. As you can see when I click on it it's just going to start scanning for devices. So you can connect this especially for automatic updates. We have Bluetooth so if you want to connect this to a Bluetooth device like speakers and you can use that you can utilize this feature as well as. Image settings, so this is a really good feature. This allows you to change the settings of the image to fit your best needs or whether you're using it in an indoor or outdoor environment, you have full availability to change all the different settings, which I personally really do like. It allows you to change anything you can. 
So heading over to keystone settings. Now, good thing about keystone settings, if you've got your projector sat on a funny angle, you're, this allows you to utilize the different keystones for the corners and the sides of the projector, allowing you to get the perfect square image. Now projector position, so this all depends on where you've got it set. So you've got front rear, front ceiling, and rear ceiling. So this all just depends on what orientation you have your projector. I have mine at the rear, so my, my projector's upside down, so I need to change the uh, image clarity. So that's pretty much how that works, which is really handy. We have custom zoom as well. So depending on what you are actually projecting on, so what device this is actually going onto, this custom zoom allows you to zoom in and out vertically and horizontally to get the best image possible. Um, and as you can see, I've got my horizontal zoom set to four and vertical set to eight, but you can change this and utilize this all the way down, depending on what type of surface you are actually working on, which I do actually like that feature. It really does help. You have scaling, obviously we are using custom zoom. So we have system upgrade as well. So if you are connected to Wi-Fi, you can actually upgrade the system um, online or you can do local update via a USB thumbnail as well, which you can get through their website, which is quite handy. Factory reset and also language. So you can set this to any language you want needing your, um, your actual language and you are pretty much set to go. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over to video and we're gonna try and find a movie and we'll go from there. So first off, I have to say that this was a video I really did enjoy. Now, Yabba really are an incredible company. Their previous projector, which I'm still using, is definitely going to get swapped out for this one. But when was the last time you ever saw a projector be delivered in a backpack? Like, this is incredible. Like, if you, I don't know, say you're, I don't really know. See, if you're on the move all the time and this is the only means of a TV you have, or I don't know, you do it for art shows to show off your community and all that good stuff, this really is going to be perfect for you to travel around with. If you're going to be using it just on day and day basis, obviously, again, this really is going to be incredible. Now, they really did capture every small little detail when it came to this uh, projector. Obviously, size wise, I love the fabric on the front. It just gives it such a, a, a better, just overall better look. And it was like, you've got USB ports on the back, you've got double HDMI, your control of the lens to actually maneuver it in and out, as well as the angle. That I really did like, it really is incredible. So I definitely have to say thanks very much for sending this over. This is definitely gonna get, be getting replaced because the Y10 is coming down, the Y9 is going up. So that's pretty much where we're gonna be at from now on. But as always guys, if you do have any questions regarding this, head down the links in the uh, description or anything there, or even the comment section. Uh, in the links in the description, there'll be links so you can go grab this for yourself. But as always, if you do have any questions, let me know. More than happy to help as always. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any further videos. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.